The President, please be seated. The trial chamber is now in session and the floor is now uh, given to the civil party lead call lawyer to uh, put question to uh, the civil parties Le and uh, um, um, we we'll inform you that um, the lead call lawyer and the co prosecutor have only one hour uh, for this morning. Council Chonti, um, thank you, Mr. President. I'm from the Legal Aid of Cambodia. Your Honours and uh, all parties um, in and around the courtroom and the media. And I will ask uh, a number of questions to a civil party who is testifying before the trial chamber in this uh, proceeding. Um, I will uh, divide my questions into two part, two three parts. So uh, the first uh, section on the exchange of um, uh, Khmer people with the Vietnam, um, and also I would like to ask the uh, about the forced labor and also the uh, execution of. Uh, your uh, relatives or siblings. Um, in relation to the exchange of people, I would like you uh, to tell the court, um, um, do you heard any information from the Vietnamese government. Si so what are the announcements by the government, uh, government that uh, lead you to, uh, to come or to decide to return to Cambodia? Answer, uh, Mr. President. At that time, I had no idea, idea as to whether it was an exchange of people, but the Vietnamese government told us that the uh, Khmer refugee who lived in, uh, in their country and now you will be exchanged uh, Vietnamese people from Cambodia and you will be returning to uh, your country. Question. Question. In Vietnam, when the Cambodian people Vietnam? Uh, fled to live in Vietnam, uh, were you living in a camp and uh, what was your living condition like when you were there? Answer. As far as I know, when we are, Viet we are in Vietnam, we were called refugees. Um, uh, we were organized to live in camps uh, for uh, good management uh, by the authority. And the U.S. government uh, donated uh, rice, medicine, and other food supplies for the refugees in those camps, we have, we would have enough uh, to eat. À l'intention des réfugiés. Council, thank you. Et de cette façon, nous pouvions manger à satiété. So when the exchange program um, is going to implement it, was there any um, a group of people who? Uh, 
dans le cadre du programme Assign people or who select people into the list, were there any families refused to, uh, to come échanger? to return to Cambodia? Est-ce qu'on a refusé à certaines familles la possibilité Answer. de rentrer au Cambodge? There were some réponse. Um, people who refused to return certains ont refusé and they uh, continue to live there until today. Sur place et ils y sont Those who were um, there and who were uh, who possess the inhabitant uh, rice paddy field and plantation, and they uh, decided to stay there de and they enjoy par those exemple. properties et donc, ils sont restés sur place and uh, they could stay there. Council, thank you. Question. When uh, the Khmer refugees were exchanged, au cours de cet échange um, did de you witness Khmer, the actual exchange, the Khmer people with the Vietnamese people? Um, where did this happen at the Vietnamien? border check, checkpoint? It is, uh, Bad 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 Answer. De passage um, de la it happened at the international checkpoint Réponse, called Tunnel Dutch. De it was de previously Dutch. called Tunnel Dutch checkpoints. Connu comme étant and the Vietnamese uh, people were uh, sent back to their country for three days, and Les then Vietnamien the Khmer people were uh, sent back to Cambodia uh, later. The Vietnamese government would send the Khmer people to Cambodia when, after they received their uh, people first. Council, thank you. I would like you to tell the court um, another um, accounts when you res returned to Cambodia in 1976. You were sent to a mobile unit. Where was your mobile unit um, and what are you doing during uh, that time? Et quel travail faisait-elle? Answer at the beginning, Réponse. I was sent to Tnautrum village, Koprabai commune. Été I was sent to a mobile Knautrum. unit to work. De and I was transferred to Cabal Po. Et puis à Cabal -Po. It, it, it located uh, to the south of Takao province. Dans le sud de um, la province de Takao. We would uh, do rice paddy farming and canal building, irrigation canaux, system construction. Um, at our first arrival, we were uh, so hungry, um, we s nous and sometimes we uh, use bad words to the cooks, and we can uh, we would blame um, those cooks, but um, the uh, old people there uh, warn us that uh, don't do that, otherwise you will be um, uh, taken away. Council, when you work in the uh, mobile unit. Question. Dans cette unité itinérante. So, what were your working hours in the morning, votre horaire de travail? in the afternoon, en matinée, dans what were your living conditions, and conditions were there any vie? treatments when anyone falls sick uh, during si uh, working or when uh, you stay in a mobile unit? En travaillant, pouvait-il se faire soigner? Y Answer. Au sein de l'unité itinérante. Réponse. At Cabalpo, at the beginning. Au début à Cabalpo. Um, some people who were living in a, a better condition, and later after that, um, they fell sick. Mais par la suite, Some of them tried to flee, Certains ont tenté and de prendre la fuite. twenty uh, people uh, who tried to, to flee, only one could flee, et sur ces 20, and during 
the ah, the labor work and we will start um, uh, early in the morning and le would uh, break uh, at 11 for, for lunch and later um, they told us that uh, don't worry Ensuite, about your lunch you should on nous a dit de ne pas pay your attention déjeuner, only your work sometimes um, um, we were made to work for 20 hours Et we could have only two meals nous travaillions durant and 20 in the evening um, we, we made to work um, le soir, uh, without any breaks nous devions travailler sans prendre and pause. Um, we were order to complete uh, assignment Nous before asking for meals. Council. Another important point you said Question. earlier that um, I did not receive your response. So were, any, were there any treatments or uh, medicines for uh, people who fell sick? So, uh, can you tell the court about that? Answer. Réponse. Anyone who fell sick during uh, the regime at my uh, work site, and if he or she could uh, eat, um, uh, he or she would be accused of being si uh, infiltrator malade, or um, enemy. So everyone uh, um, dare not um, complain but try to work very hard. So there was no clinic, no treatment at Kabalpo. Anyone who fell sick, sick and um, try to sneak out to help one another in a, a booth and to do some uh, scraping to, um, uh, to help him getting better. Essayer d'obtenir l'aide des autres pour se faire soigner en cachette. Counsel, I would like you to uh, tell the court um, what kind of medicines you received Question. for uh, a treatment. Quel Is there any uh, treatment at all or uh, any medicine at all? Answer. In the use unit, I don't think I see any medication or medicines for um, the sick people because uh, no one from my unit was sent to any clinic or any hospital. There were no treatment in Aucun any clinic or hospital, so anyone who fell sick or um, later um, die of starvation. Les gens pouvaient donc tomber malades it et was um, mourir de faim. Uh, a kind of um, a will of history, they call it. Ils so if anyone who try to oppose or to um, disaient, uh, block, um, um, yeah, you will uh, lose your histoire. limbs uh, for Au that. De Counsel, thank you. Perdre un membre de se faire estropier par cette roue. The President, uh, Mr. Victor Coppé, Coppé, you Président. may proceed. Uh, thank you very Maître much. Excuse me Coppé. for interrupting. Um, pour cette interruption. Would you please instruct uh, Mr. President, Monsieur the, the witness, to speak on the things that he actually saw himself or heard himself? Uh, the witness is continuously saying that anyone, everyone, etc. Uh, just a reminder that he can only speak as to the events that he witnessed himself au sujet des événements dont il a été personnellement le témoin. Bas. Counsel Lao Chun Ti, thank you, Maître Mr. Lord President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. In my uh, previous question, I ask you um, that uh, do you have any um, relatives or cousins who were evacuated from si Phnom Penh. Answer: Yes, de I have um, uh, oui, two uncles who were evacuated from Phnom Penh. Answer: Yes, I have two uncles during the evacuation, and then I heard that um, he. He died. Par la suite, he uh, did a fishing, and he was uh, 
accused of uh, stealing uh, things. Uh, his name is Sun Ngoc, and I um, knew that Ngoc. after the uh, liberation council. Ça, Thank you. Après la uh, were there any family members Question. in your family that um, uh, were evacuated to Des that de area? Votre été Answer. Vers cette, uh, région. During Pol Pot, Pol Pot regime and the Khmer Rouge, I lost only one younger brother. When I went, when I arrived there, he was not even one year old. Quand je suis um, arrivé, il même pas un an. He was separated uh, from us il and. A été séparé de nous. The old lady was assigned to take care of her Une children, and he was sent to uh, to be cared by those lady, and he, he died. Lautchunti, thank you. I have uh, uh, my one uh, one last question. After 1979, you met uh, the people who were returning from Vous Vietnam, for example, uh, 1,200 families, and familles. after 1979, how Et many of them um, are still living and how many Combien of them disappeared? Can familles? you tell the court Combien about that? Answer. Réponse. As far as I observed, mes uh, during the exchange of people, there were many people from my village. After de the liberation, il y avait um, de gens de mon village. Uh, certain family Après la um, lost several members, and other, the, uh, other case, the whole family lost. Dans and cas, uh, they were la famille, uh, this, they disappear. Maybe they uh, suffer any inhuman treatment. But after the liberation, uh, many inhuman, people disappear. Uh, council, uh, thank you, uh, civil party. The president, uh, thank you. Uh, the tri chamber, uh, Le um, give the floor to uh, the co-prosecutor to put the question to uh, the civil party. Prosecutor, uh, thank you, Mr. President, your honors, Merci, le Président. Mesdames, Messieurs and les juges. Mr. Civil Party. My Monsieur name is Singh Ling. Ling. I am the deputy co-prosecutor of the OCP. I will ask you a number of questions. Et des questions à vous poser. And my uh, first question is, la est la uh, you said that when you arrived in Cambodia, you were sent to Pau Trabaik commune. Is this correct? Exact. President, uh, uh, le please wait until your microphone is activated, civil party. Que le de votre micro soit allumé, la Respond, yes, this is correct. Exact. Prosecutor, uh, can you tell the court the name of the chief of Pork Trabec commune? Comment le chef de la commune de Pork Trabec? Answer. Réponse. As far as I know, the commune chief à during le chef Pol Pot regime was Ta Chom. Pol Pot, c'était Ta Chom. Question. Question. In that area, did you hear um, région, the name of uh, Tamok? Avez-vous entendu parler President, de Tamok? President, uh, please wait. Le président, veuillez marquer un temps d'arrêt. Answer: Yes, I heard. Réponse: Oui. Tamok was uh, a relative of uh, Ta Chom. Who was Tamok? Question. La même famille que Ta Chom. Respond. He Question. was called the Tamok, uh, sector réponse. secretary. On disait que c'était le secrétaire du secteur. Co-prosecutor, thank you. Question. In your civil party application, Dans votre the twenty-one uh, sixty-one English 
35 en anglais. En Khmer 00, 00 50, 64, 43 et en français. You say that after you arrive in Tramka district, you were separated from your family and sent to work in a mobile unit, and I was forced to work very hard, including building canal and dam without any rest. End of quote. Can you tell a bit further to the court that when you are working there? So where were your uh, work site during uh, that time? Le chantier où vous travaillez? Answer. Réponse. During that regime, um, we would work at the, uh, the sector or the region So Nous if we were sent to uh, Kabalpo, for example, par exemple, si quelqu'un était envoyé à Kabalpo, uh, Uh, a number of villages in uh, Kabalpo. We were uh, sent to work from Il one place to another within that uh, Kabalpo uh, work site. Question. Was there Question. a rice mill at Kabalpo uh, work site where you uh, worked at? Answer. Pol Pot During Pol Pot regime, there was a rice mill and um, uh, all equipment to produce um, rice from paddy, yes, of course. Question. Now I would like uh, you to uh, tell the court about the construction of dam or canal. So, uh, what is your, how was your workload during uh, every day and each day uh, uh, you did? Answer. I cannot um, calculate a specific uh, assignment, but um, when uh, We were in our unit. Uh, we have to respect unité, the uh, uh, rule and continue to work without règle, any rest. So if anyone who violated the rule, um, si there will be punishment by règles, increasing the workload and um, he or she would be forced to work until uh, he or she completed the assignment. Pour mener Question. À son terme, la tâche fixée. Was there any uh, quota Question. of workload uh, for each uh, member? Des quotas étaient-ils imposés à chaque membre? Um, Le président. Um, the chamber um, uh, has, has yet to uh, rule and then uh, to, uh, to the civil party that uh, when you use um, He or, or they, without any specific uh, group of people or person, uh, can you uh, be specific when you say they? Avocat, maître, pourriez-vous préciser quand vous dites eux ou bien ils? So you should be specific uh, by uh, person by the uh, the member in any group or in a. A Khmer uh, cadre unit. So, um, co-prosecutor, could you be specific so that the civil party can possible. respond uh, correctly? So, um, uh, the term uh, they uh, should be uh, uh, replaced by a specific uh, person by group or by um, title, for example. Par exemple. Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, I will uh, reframe my question. Uh, they here refer to the uh, chief of the mobile on, unit je référence who supervise uh, the members 
lequel they les membres de cette dernière. set any quota for, qu for each member per day? À respecter chaque jour. Y avait-il un quota uh, pour chaque membre? Answer. Réponse. I'd like to uh, apologize, uh, Mr. President, and during the Khmer Rouge regime, we were uh, called uh, contemptible or in Khmer, Khmer regardless of our age. De a, autrement dit, and le I can recall the names of the unit chiefs or other chiefs, nom, and for that reason, sometimes I use the word day. Pour ça que le mot on, President bien, and il. Mr. Sibopati, please listen le to the question carefully and only respond to the limit question of the question. If you are asked about about your si unit chief, then only mention the unit chef, chief. Unité, or if they ask about the commune chief de or de village chief, please chef respond commune, accordingly. Village, and secondly, the question is about uh, question the, the term used is quota. Or maybe Quotan, it's a little bit uh, difficult for you to understand. Uh, maybe the simple word is uh, the amount of a work that you were assigned at the time, or amount, how, how, how many cubic meters, for example, en fait, that you have to, to complete cube. per day. And to my understanding, the question is repetitive. As in his previous response, he said that he could not uh, calculate the amount of work each day, and only those who were uh, punished, then they vous would be uh, assigned to punis, carry two or three oh, cubic meters per day. So the deputy co-prosecutor, please Donc, refresh your question so that uh, the civil party can understand it and, use, uh, and make it as simple as possible. Prosecutor, thank you. Mr. President, national, Monsieur le Président je vous remercie. when you worked in your unit, Question, were you allowed to unité, leave the unit and to go anywhere freely as you wanted? Vous Answer. Réponse. At that time, when we were uh, working at a work site, even if we had to relieve ourselves, we si had to inform soulager, our group chief or unit chief to get their permission first. And if we were longer than usual, si then we would accuse of uh, having a psychological sickness. On nous Question. Une what would happen if someone violated the rule? Was there any form of a punishment? President, civil uh, party, you do not need to respond to this hypothetical question. Prosecution. Can you uh, tell the chamber in your unit was any member si violated the rule by leaving or going anywhere without informing the unit chief? En quittant l'unité sans informer le chef d'unité. Answer. Réponse. During the Khmer Rouge regime, pendant la période du régime des Khmer Rouge, we had to obey a, a saying that we had to follow the uh, Ankara's organization. And without the permission from Anka, we would si not dare go anywhere. Wherever we were assigned to work at, we had to be there. For example, within a limit of 100 meter uh, land uh, plot, then we could only move within that uh, limit. Question. My question is, at the time, was any of uh, a mobile unit Ma question est la suivante. Est -ce cette violated uh, the, the rule or the discipline? And if so, what happened to him or to her? Answer. Réponse. 
At that time, everybody, including myself, tries to abide by the organizational discipline, and we did not dare to violate it. If we were afraid that we would be taken away and killed. Nous y opposer car nous avions peur d'être so, emmenés et exécutés. Par conséquent, personne ne se déplaçait ou n'osait se déplacer ou n'osait enfreindre les règles établies par l'organisation. Question. Question. Based on your answer, uh, previously you said that the food was not sufficient. Am I correct? Vous avez dit précédemment que vous n'aviez pas assez à manger. Est-ce exact? Et... President interrupt. The co-prosecutor, you need uh, to allow the civil party to respond to your question first. And civil party, please uh, wait for the microphone to be activated before you respond. Civil party, indeed, that is true. Answer. Did anybody Question. make any protest of insufficient food? That is to make a protest to the upper organization? De de Answer. Allow me to Mais say it again, Mr. President. At that time, nobody dared to protest. Je répète, à if anybody protested, protester, si protestait, then we would be accused of being an enemy at the cooperative, and that person would not be survived. And they would take a measure to take that person away secretly. Answer a question, question rather to your knowledge. Was any of your à unit members died from starvation? De votre unité sont morts de faim? Answer. Réponse. In my uh, mobile unit at Oak Road, there were two members who Dans died from starvation. However, de they then said that. Uh, they died uh, of a uh, faint. Mais apparemment, l'on a dit d'eux qu'ils étaient morts d'évanouissement. And in fact, there was a, a wound, infection on their uh, leg, and it got worse because of the uh, insufficient food. And because they, they were sick, they were not allowed to malades, give uh, any food, and later on, they died. De manger, et ils sont par la suite morts. Question. Question. Thank you. In the area during the Khmer Rouge regime, did you hear the term cooperative? Avez-vous entendu le terme coopérative? Answer. Réponse. During the Pol Pot regime, Sous le they de Pol Pot, established cooperatives, and I heard the term being établi. used. Question, did you know when cooperatives were established? Question, savez-vous quand les coopératives ont été établies? Answer. Réponse. I uh, cannot say for sure which year they were established. However, when I uh, returned to leave, uh, the cooperatives had already been established, namely uh, Tnachum or cooperatives uh, for various uh, units, including the 50-man unit or the 100-man unit. Les unités de 50 personnes ou 100 Question. Did you hear uh, anyone talking about a model cooperative or a model district? Have you heard anyone talking about a district model or a cooperative model? Answer. Réponse. No, I was not aware of uh, that thing. No. Only uh, probably the leadership level cela. knew as which uh, commune was a uh, model one. For us, uh, a, a common person, mod we would not be allowed to know about that. Les personnes, on ne savait pas, on n'avait pas accès à ce genre d'information. Co-prosecutor, uh, Mr. Co President, uh, for the uh, transcript, I'd like to uh, show a document that is E3-135. 
which entitled the revolutionary flag. It's the sixth edition of March 1977 at Ian in Khmer 00-06-3793. 2793 through 94, and in English 00, 44, 48, 68, 49 through 50, and French is 00, 48, 7, 7, 1, 0, 1, 1. And let me quote Je cite. free translation. The letter of a uh, handing the red flag to the dudes, the combatants, and the uh, cadres, and the peasants of Rousseau district. And in the bracket, the zone is situated in the zone est. And uh, for uh, Southwest zone, it was for Tramcock district. Le district de Kampong Tralak Le, situé dans la zone ouest, et le district de Tramcock, situé dans la zone sud-ouest. My question to you, Mr. Civil Party, is that did you know if there were any Khmer Rouge leaders come to visit your area? Answer. At the work size. I saw Tamok uh, twice coming to uh, visit. He came to inspect the work sites. Il est venu en inspection sur les sites de travail. Question: Did you know uh, which year did he Question. make uh, those uh, two visits? Savez-vous quand il est venu en visite? En quelle année? President uh, Civil Party, President please wait Party, for si the uh, uh, microphone to be activated first. Answer. Réponse. It was in 1977 when he came to Trapean est venu à Trapean Col. Question: Besides the mock, was Outre there anyone else? Quelqu'un d'autre est-il venu? President, uh, civil party, please wait for the microphone's party, activation si first. Que le microphone soit allumé. Answer. There were unit chiefs of the districts of the communes who came with Tamok. Question. Now I move on to another topic that is the treatment of former Lonol soldiers and civil servants. Can you tell us, amongst the people living in Tramco district during the Khmer Rouge regime, uh, whether the Khmer Rouge tried to identify who were the former Lonol soldiers or the civil servants? Answer. No, I was not aware of that. Question. Now I'd like to uh, mention one Question. document. À présent and uh, Mr. President, Monsieur le President, I'd like to hand a document to the civil party. That is a document, document in case document 002 slash 02. That is document E3 slash 2917. Ian in Khmer is 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, and English 00, 00, 00, 00, and French 00, 00, 00, with your permission, Mr. President. President, yes, you may do so. Look, say I go. Co prosecutor, uh, Mr. Civil Party, this document is a, a report through the district uh, from Popel Commune. De and I'd like you to uh, uh, focus point number one, which is circle in red for you. 
and allow me to uh, read it to you. Je vous en donne lecture, si vous me le permettez. The Cambodian Crown people and the people that were exchanged by the Vietnamese were 64 households. And equivalent to 228 persons. And the date of this letter is in 1977. Can you uh, tell the court dire à la chambre whether that exchange si was the second phase exchange that you mentioned earlier? De deuxième phase dont vous avez parlé un peu plus tôt. Or whether this exchange, for example, was the subsequent third or fourth exchange uh, to your knowledge? Était-il un échange subséquent à la première phase? Uh, President, uh, please, uh, Mr. Le Civil Party, wait for the microphone le activation. Que le micro soit activé. Answer. Réponse. After I arrived Après mon arrivée in uh, Cambodia, au Cambodge, and that was the first uh, batch that I, 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 I came along la volée. and I did not know about the further uh, batches uh, for the, of the exchange uh, programs and I didn't know when they uh, were returned to Cambodia je ne, je pas du tout au because when we arrived in uh, Cambodia, we en were effet, not allowed to move freely. Prosecutor, uh, thank you, and due question. to uh, time limit, I move on to my last temps, question. Je vais à ma question. Please uh, refer to the uh, second line, which is also highlighted uh, in red, and allow me to read it to you. En exergue. Je vous en donne the military personnel uh, families which, who were smashed by Anka were 106, families, which were equivalent to 393 individuals. And my question here is focused on the military personnel. Can, do you know which military personnel did they specify? Did they refer to the former Lono soldiers or did they refer to the actual Khmer Rouge uh, soldiers? President Super Party, please wait. And Council Consum On, you have the floor. Consum On, thank you, Mr. President. Allow Mr. President to instruct the uh, Deputy Co Prosecutor. To dire actually refer to the document again, because in the Khmer language, uh, it reads uh, slap or die and not uh, some lap means killed in English. Thank you. Um, I, the witness doesn't know this document. Uh, I, have, I see no reason why he should be introduced to this, doc to this document. Um, uh, at least we have to first establish whether he knows the document or has seen it before. So I object to this uh, question. Mr. President. Pour compléter uh, la uh, dernière uh, complete, uh, objection de mon confrère Copé, uh, uh, non seulement ça, mais il n'y a pas les bases à l'utilisation de cette partie du document, no puisque um, mon, mon, monsieur le coprocureur a posé une question uh, précédemment sur uh, la connaissance uh, par la partie civile uh, d'une politique à l'égard uh, des uh, soldats, et qu'il a répondu par la négative, donc je ne vois pas pourquoi on poursuit sur cette ligne de questionnement, alors que la partie civile a clairement the civil party already indicated that he knew nothing about uh, this matter. Deputy uh, Prosecutor, Mr. President, I'd like to respond uh, to uh, 
adjoint. The concerns raised by my learned counsel. My question to the civil party is for him uh, to, to, to clarify whether he learned all about the military personnel during the Khmer rules and whether they referred to which, uh, which army. And because the document contains the word uh, military personnel, and then I put the question rise to the civil party. President, Mr. Civil Party, you do not need to respond to this question. And in fact, he already responded as he was not aware of uh, any issues with the former Lunola soldiers. Deputy co prosecutor thank you, Mr. President. I don't have any further question for uh, this civil party, and I'd like to uh, hand the floor to my international counterpart. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. President, dear honors, and good morning, Mr. Civil Party. I have uh, some questions for you, and I will uh, speak English. Thank you. Mr. Civil Party, in your application and in the statement you gave to the investigators of the co-investigating judges, you, and in your testimony, you spoke about Pong Tuk village. You also, in your OCIJ statement, referred to Pre Takap village, and the reference is E319.1.20. Both at answers 24 and 38. Can you clarify? Were you assigned to work? Both in Pong Tuk and Pre Takap, did you live in one place and work in the other? What was the situation? I was transferred from Stung village to some ground. Then I were plowing the field and digging canals at Pong Tuk village. And in fact, Pong Tuk and Pray Tuk covers adjacent to one another. And I was assigned to plow in the, the village and through the canal and to carry it up. Uh, at that location. Thank you very much. How far were these two locations from Krang Tachan? If uh, I uh, estimate it uh, correctly, the distance is about 500 meters from Krang Tachan. Or maybe 500 to 600 meters. Thank you very much. I'd like to move on now to a different topic in the interests of time. Mr. Civil Party, do you consider yourself to be Khmer Kampuchea Krom? Yes. My true identity is Khmer Kampuchea, uh, but I lived uh, near the border. I was born in uh, Cambodia, but uh, during the war, Cambodge. I fled uh, to live in Vietnam. Thank you very much. I would like now, uh, Mr. President, with your leave, to show uh, the civil party a document already admitted by your honours, E3-2428. This document lists 54 families identified as being from Kampuchea Krom, living in villages in Samrong commune, close to where the civil party has stated repeatedly that he lived. Uh, village names Tasman, Panmia, Tasaum, Prekokia, Angtanget. And I would like, uh, with your leave, Mr. President, to put the Khmer version of this document to the witness, to the civil party. President, yes, you can proceed with that.
Mr. Civil Party, please take the time you need to review the contents of this document. When you have done so, please tell the court if you know any of the Khmer Krom people on this list. The, the characters are too small. I have difficulty in reading them. That's absolutely fine. Thank you. You will see uh, on the left-hand side names like Tat and Chao, which are family names. Do you recognize these kinds of names? Reconnaissez-vous ces noms? Bat Kalpi Smai Mun no Tam Prum Dan Mun Hat Tram Smai Khmer Kham Kalpi Mun Mao But Tam Hit Dan Not only through the period of the Khmer Rus but uh, through the, the period before that People living along the border would uh, use uh, the family names uh, Tach or Chao as uh, their family names. Thank you. You will see then the list lists 54 families, 13 families from Tassaum village, and 12 Khmer Krom families from Ang Tangyet village. Do you remember? whether these uh, were villages that had many Khmer Krom families living in them at the time that you lived in Samrong commune. President uh, Civil Party, please wait, Le and Councillor Coupe, you Please have the floor. Mr. President, I object. How on earth does this poor witness have to answer a question like this? He can answer about his direct family, but he's been asked about 54 families, family members. This is an impossible question. To respond, Mr. President, the civil party was a member of a mobile unit. He traveled around parts of Samrong commune. I've mentioned two villages that he may have gone through. Perhaps he can tell us if he knew the approximate number of Khmer Krom families living in those villages, which he, if he knows in his personal knowledge. President, the objection by the Defence Council is uh, overruled. Uh, the question de la is appropriate concerning the, the knowledge of the uh, civil party who used to uh, live in uh, that area during the decay period. And Mr. Civil Party, please respond to the last question put to you by the International Co-Prosecutor. Civil Party. The names on the list, I cannot re recall them. I only know those people who were uh, my peers, that means uh, of uh, similar ages, and I didn't know uh, about the rest. And sometimes when we went, or we were assigned to various units. We were separated uh, and not stayed together. The list does mention one female from Pong Tuk village, where you stated you were. The name at number 26 on the list is given as Nyang Srei. Do you remember her? Allow me to uh, repeat it again. At that time, Réponse. men were separated from à women, and we femmes. were uh, put into different groups according to our Nous age. For example, children would be grouped into uh, the children's exemple, unit, enfants, and for the adults, uh, enfants, would be put into the adults' group. And we could not live uh, mingled together, so I would not know uh, about other people.
Donc je ne peux pas reconnaître ces noms. That's clear. Thank you very much. My, my last question. Uh, you will see that the list divides the Khmer Krom families into three types that are called first type, second type, and third type. The expression used in Khmer is propiet, propiet timoi, tipi, tibai, propiet. Did you, in, based on what you heard during that time, ever hear these three categories or types being used? Uh, at that time, uh, there were uh, such uh, divisions, that is, the, the three groups, uh, namely the Kampuchee Crown, the Sevantinapri people, Krom, and the Basque people. Krom, le, le de base, people le who uh, left Phnom Penh will be put into that group, but then they will be separated into a smaller unit uh, according to their age étaient regroupés en différentes unités en fonction de leur âge. And for example, younger people would be put into the younger group and women would be separated from men. Comme je l'ai dit, les hommes étaient séparés des femmes. And I would not know about other people in other units or groups. Thank you very much. Uh, in the brief time that remains, I have two further uh, short questions. In your statement to the Office of Co-Investigating Judges, once again document E319.1.22, at answers 61 and 62, you state that in uh, 1978 you witnessed a group of 30 Khmer Krom who were tied up, arrested and marched towards Krang Tachan. Can you describe this incident briefly for the court? And, sir, when I was moved from Stung village to Pong Thuk village, at my arrival, I saw, but I don't know where uh, they were taken and 30 people were arrested and uh, tied up and uh, they were marched um, to the opposite direction when I was uh, traveling but I had no idea where they were sent to as, or, uh, as to whether they were killed or tortured but um, later I learned Je that Krang Tachan is a killing field. Do you recall, Mr. Civil Party, uh, why they had been arrested? Answer. At the time, Réponse. people were divided into uh, three types. À il y avait trois Anyone de who uh, did any sabotage or commit any wrongdoing toutes or les who uh, refused to uh, do work, erreurs, um, uh, the unit chief would accuse them or the commune chief or the group chief, chef accuse commune, uh, uh, chef uh, the person group. of uh, Yuan or um, Yuan, the puppet of the Yuan or um, the Yuan enemy Yuan, and so on. Investigating judges, document E319.1.22 at answer 58. You stated that only six Khmer Krom persons, including yourself, survived the Khmer Rouge regime. I would like to ask you to clarify this. What did you mean when you said only six survivors? Were you referring to the group that was sent with you to Trump Kok in 1976? Were you referring to the number of people left in your commune at the end of the regime? Were you referring to another number? Can you please clarify what you meant by six survivors? Pourriez-vous préciser, s'il vous plaît, lorsque vous parlez de six survivants? Answer. 
I would like to tell the president that uh, the people who came from Vietnam and live with me in the area in Cambodia and after the liberation so those who were living in the same place with me uh, only um, only six uh, people uh, survive and are still living um, in my neighborhood. Your uh, responses. Thank you, Mr. President. That concludes my questioning. The President, uh, thank you. It is now appropriate for uh, morning break um, until uh, 1.30 this afternoon. Uh, court officer, uh, please work um, uh, with the uh, vessel uh, for uh, the civil party uh, for his break during the lunch and have him uh, return to the courtroom at 1.30 uh, to continue his testimony. Personnel security um, are instructed to uh, bring uh, Mr. Kilson Pond to the holding cell and have him back um, into this courtroom before 1.30. The court is uh, adjourned for recess.